Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. My name is Juan Scribe. Today's video is based on 1999's The Blair Witch Project. What was that? Remember, here, I'm an artist, you're an artist, we are all artists. Okay, so let's take a paintbrush. Mine is three-fourths of an inch, but anything around that size is fine. Make sure you loosen it up and then dry it really well. Then take some black paint and paint a line that is from one side to the other. It doesn't have to be a straight line. In fact, it could be very, very bumpy and, um, you know, because we're setting the terrain uh, for the painting. Once you establish that line, you paint everything underneath it black. Okay, so I put that brush in water and leave it there. Then I move on to a smaller brush. Here I have a number four flat brush. And after I loosen it up and dry it really well, I make myself some gray because I want to paint some trees in the background. This is a very light gray so that these trees in the background are very light. We're going to make three rows of trees. The first set is very light, as you can see. So once I finish with these tree trunks, I'm going to put the brush in the water and move on to a detail brush to add with the same gray limbs here and there all over the place on those trees that I just made. Now I'm going to go back to my number four brush, my flat brush. I'm going to make a gray that's a little darker simply by adding a little bit of black to that light gray. And with this, I'm going to basically repeat the steps that I had previously done. But I'm going to make trees that are elsewhere. Some of them could overlap or crisscross with the ones that are already there. I'm going to make these kind of taller, maybe more pronounced. They're closer, so they're going to be more prominent. And you can add as many trees as you would like. And once you add the tree trunks, remember also to add the limbs using a smaller brush as we did before. Now the film, which was directed by Daniel Mirick and Eduardo Sanchez and featured incredible realistic performances by Heather Donahue, Michael C. Williams and Joshua Leonard. I remember it being a frightening experience that had me forgetting that it was a film altogether and had me feeling vulnerable, helpless, and as if I was right there with them being being hunted by, by those forces that were un, unseen. So as you can see here, I'm adding tree trunks that are now just black. And after I add these tree trunks that are more prominent even, they're wider because they're closer to us, and they are um, certainly taller, they're you know, from the bottom to the top. Once I add them, I'm gonna add the limbs once again using the detail brush. But yeah, even though the film had its detractors, even from the beginning with the camera that was so shaky and the criticism of, of that, also the criticism towards the ambiguity of the ending, and um, you know the the resulting parodies. Um, I, I will never forget how I felt watching it the very first time. And it really wouldn't be until Paranormal Activity many years later that a film would really make me feel that that petrified. Now what I'm doing here is adding leaves. So I'm using a, a detail brush again, and I'm dabbing on leaves. Not that many, it, it's, it was the fall time when the movie took place. So it's not that many leaves, most of them are on the ground. So I just dab on some leaves and starting with the lighter colors first, the lighter grays. After which I'll then add the black leaves to the closer trees. Now, once again, make sure you don't add too many because this is after all a fall season painting. It's not a beautiful spring, you know, leaves blossoming out of the trees kind of painting. Once you add the leaves, then um, 
you know, add leaves to the floor too. Make the floor full of leaf like, you know, texture. You don't want it to look flat. You want to make sure that it's very, very full of leaves. Here I'm going to give a second coat of black paint to the ground. Then I'm going to let it dry for at least 15 minutes before I take my detail brush and add red paint to make the infamous figure. Just try to make sure that those lines look like sticks and then your painting is ready. <laughs> well, thank you so much for painting with me. I hope that you love your painting that you hang it up proudly. Check out our other videos, our other tutorials and time lapses, and check out etherealartsstudio.com.